across the ballroom. This feels new. Oh. 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 I'm scared their bond's gonna be even stronger now or something. I'm terrified that they can't, like, the stone can't sever them, maybe. I'm really scared. Don't worry, it's gonna work. That's. Is the stone? I don't think the stone can do it. This is a new. This is a new. This is all new. souls are independent and now he no longer has those feeling towards stars so marco said but he could have been lying and the sad truth of the matter is i think this is a very short term solution as much as i want to believe like Mark Kelly, sorry, I love calling it that, so. Mark Kelly and uh, Starro, I want them to kind of be together because I like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Uh, I, this would have been the part where Tom shoved me halfway across the ballroom. This feels new. Where have you been hiding these dance moves, Diaz? Hmm. Nowhere. I mean, I just keep on dancing, you know? That's what Grandma said. Just keep dancing even if you look silly. Holy shit, that music! The fucking Blood Moon theme going ham. <laughs> Marco? I'm really scared. Don't worry, it's gonna work. That's what I'm scared of. I, I I don't want my destiny determined by some creepy curse, but I like this. Aww. Yeah. So do I. What if it was never the blood moon? Hmm. Uh, <sighs> we figured it out, didn't ah! we? Ah! He says it is done. Oh wait. What happened? You, like, turned around once, and that was it. I don't know. I feel like I just woke up from, like, a weird nap. Yeah, we were at the Blood Moon Ball, and we were dancing, and then... It's what still... were we just doing? They don't yeah, remember. I... I don't remember. Yeah? How do we know it even worked? Well, here. The corn shmallows. Do these corn shmallows give you any... feelings? Let's yeah. see. I just see two gross pieces of cereal. Hey! What about when you look at me? I see my best, best friend. friend. Me too. Woo! Holy oh. shit. Oh, well, now things are only a little wow. awkward. Instead of very awkward, which it was for like a year, oh, I felt so much guilt every single day. Tom, you should have. You it's should okay. have. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Jana, I did it. I got my soul severed from itself. Woo! <laughs> what? Oh, what Jana, the fuck, Jana? On, why would you do that? Now I have two souls. I'm pretty much a demon. Uh, Jana, th 
It doesn't work like that. Yeah, now you just have two halves of the same soul. So I'm half demon. It still counts. What the fuck, Jenny? <laughs> okay, you know, I will be waiting in the elevator. Yeah, that's probably for the best, Marco. Fucking Christ. Okay. So that was uh, season four, episode eight of Star versus the Forces of Potatoes. Um... Holy shit, they did the Blood Moon thing, and they reversed the curse, and it seems like it worked. Oh shit, this is, oh, oh my god, dude, I know, oh my god, I don't know. See, this is, this is interesting for Starco fans, because I don't know what this means for the rest of the season. I don't know if this means, that did not go... How I kind of thought it would. I thought they would sever the curse and he'd still be fucking crazy for her. They did not do that. They did, I think, the best thing they could have done. They severed the curse and he wasn't crazy for her. Now, does that mean Starko is dead? No. Starko's dead when the series is over and it didn't happen. Does that mean Starko is going to happen, though? Again, no. It might. It might not. I really don't know. And that's what's awesome. Uh, this but considering room, this is the memory the that they gotta get rid of, I'm not disagreeing with it. Where have you been hiding these dance moves, Diaz? Nowhere. I mean, I just keep on dancing, you know? That's what Grandma said. Just keep dancing even if you look silly. I like this. Oh, come on. I don't... Want y'all to? Yeah, so do I. <sighs> what if it was never the blood moon? <sighs> What's happening? He says it is done. Oh, wait, what happened? What about when you look at me? Hmm. I see my best friend. Me too. Woo! Oh. Of course, that's not oh, what Star well, sees. A little okay. Instead of very awkward, which it was for like a year, God, I felt <laughs> so much guilt every single day. Now you just have two halves of the same soul. So I'm half demon. It still counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, I will be waiting in the elevator. Okay. Um. Well, um. Well, that didn't live up to expectations, did it? Um, <laughs> yeah, that was not great. That was, <sighs> let's see. Um, first we have an episode about Marco and Kelly. Then we have an episode about Marco and Star, and Tom's involved. Jan is there, too. I'm kind of thinking, I don't like the idea of Star and Marco, and I feel like this is where they're still pushing it. I think what they're really ultimately going to do, though, is going to push the Star and Marco situation and then do a 180 and spin it back around, and it's just going to be something completely different than what we're thinking, because Star Versus has a tendency of doing that to us. I mean, I just... <laughs> you know? Remember these old days? Ludo was around. <laughs> What's up with Ludo anyway? Remember Ludo had the balloons of them in his closet? I like this. Oh! Yeah? So do I. What if it was never the Blood Moon? He says it is done. Oh, wait. What happened? You. What were we just doing? Yeah. No! I don't remember. No! How do we know it even worked? Well, here. The corn schmout. I just see two gross pieces of cereal. What about when you look at me? I see my best friend. Me too. Woo! Oh, oh well, now things are only a little awkward. Instead of very awkward, which is <laughs> here. Oh, I felt so much guilt every single day. Um, <laughs> She's a what? 
Okay, okay, ah, I have things to say. All right, so, okay, ah, uh, they had, they had, they, so, okay, the crystal, rid of the memory of when they first fell in love. But, did they first fall in love during the Blood Moon Ball or at some point before then? Are you picking up what I'm stepping in? Also, as I was mentioning earlier, you may recall from the previous season that Ludo had like a balloon and a mop and a bucket and stuff made up to be Star and Marco like dolls. And the way I interpreted that is Ludo was now motivated to get Star and Marco together. And Ludo hasn't been around all season, which is weird. As if his return will signify something important. So, here's what I think is gonna happen. I think that Ludo is gonna come back and he's gonna be like, I'm here to, I can't do a Ludo impression. I'm here to put, to get Star and Marco together and they're gonna be like, oh, but we broke our curse, blah, 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 blah. This would have been the part where Tom shoved me halfway across the ballroom. This feels new. Oh, this is so cute. Kiss, 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 kiss. I'm really scared. Don't worry, it's gonna work. That's what I'm scared of. I, I, I don't want my destiny determined by some creepy curse, but I like this. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. So do I. Was never the blood moon. We're at the blood moon ball and we were dancing and then what were we just doing? Yeah, I I don't remember. How do we know it even worked? Well, here, the corn schmallows. Do these corn schmallows give you any feelings? Huh. I just see two gross pieces of cereal. What about when you look at me? Oh no. I see my best friend. Me too. No. <laughs> oh. oh now things are Please tell me they're awkward. lying. It said a very awkward, which it was for like a year. Oh, I felt so much guilt every single day. <laughs> okay, you know, I will be waiting in the elevator. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm so fucking upset. Look at how cute they are. They they belong together. <gasps> oh, nothing ever goes my way. Ah, well, star fell. Well, like my hopes and dreams are falling apart. So yeah, anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Um, I think it's going to take me a while to process everything that just happened. I hope they're lying and that their feelings are still there, but if not, I'm going to be really fucking depressed. Like, oh, they want the curse there anyway. They're going to be together. That would suck, because, like, everything's pointing to them not going to want that. It's manipulating them, and they know that. And they both already have partners. That would suck. Don't you dare. I, I, I don't want my destiny determined by some creepy curse, but- You're still gonna be friends, though. It's like, it, you're not sacrificing your entire memories with them. What if it was never the Blood Moon? No, it was, though, because every time they tried doing something else- It is done. Oh, wait. What were we just doing? Yeah, I- They forgot. Do these corn schmallows give you any feelings? No, they're just gross and soggy, right? Two gross pieces of cereal. What about- Alright. 
I see. Best friend star? My best friend. Me too. Get out of here, freaking moon. Oh, well, now things are only a little awkward. Yeah. Oh, I felt so much guilt every single day. Tom, you should have. But it's okay. I'm actually really glad they addressed this whole thing, because it would have been equally screwed up if Tom actually did succeed in getting chosen by the Blood Moon with Star. Because that means Star can't leave. They're both forced to each other. That's equally as screwed up. And the fact that Tom knows that and he regrets trying to do that really does show that he genuinely changed and he's a really good person. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what's the catch? I did. Well, there we go. That was simple. Now, of course, I think the predictable ending is maybe some bullshit's gonna happen between both of the pairs that are set up now, and Marco and Star are gonna just end up together somehow. Everyone always had this preconceived notion that, like, oh, Starko's gonna be the ending. We already know it. And I think that was mostly built off of this curse, but now it's out of here. And good, too. Like, here's the thing, I'm not against Starko, but I'm against it if it's through the means of some freaking curse like that. Because that's f***ed up, they didn't want that. And it's preventing them from being with the people that they actually want to be with. The whole reason why, why Jackie and Marco broke up is because Marco couldn't get over Star. And like, her life in Muni and everything, and all of that. He couldn't give that up. But what he wanted was to be with Jackie, and that is what he wanted for his entire life. It's only after that curse happened that he thought otherwise, or actions took place that would say otherwise. I'm probably gonna get flack for like how I was reacting in this episode, but like, the curse sucked. Get it out of here. Now we'll see what actually happens naturally with the relationships in the show. That's it guys, it's really cool and I have to tell you I wasn't expect that because the curse of the blood moon I was waiting a little scary movie like episode but it's a love story I think. Don't forget to go oh! oh my god this this just is breaking everybody right now Oh my god this is beautiful but horrible at the same time. <laughs> oh no! Marco, I'm really scared. Don't worry, it's gonna work. That's what I'm scared of. I, I, I don't want my destiny determined by some creepy curse, but... I like this. <gasps> oh! Oh no! No, no! I'm unfaithful! Yeah. So do I. What if it was never the Blood Moon? Wait, ah! did it work? Ah! He's 
says, it is done. <gasps> Wait, what happened? You, like, turned around once, and that was it. I don't know. I feel like... I don't remember. How do we know it even worked? Well, here. The corn shmallows. Do these corn shmallows give you any... feelings? I just see two gross pieces of cereal. What about when you look at me? Aww. I see... my best friend. <laughs> me too. Oh. oh, well now things are only a little awkward. Instead of very awkward, which it was for like a year. God, I felt so no! every single day. She's a princess waiting by the time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry when it's not <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say other than the fact that I almost choked on this. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Damn. Damn, yo, I'm really speechless. I'm sorry, but like, whoa, holy crap. So, all right, um... Wow. Okay, so, you know what? Okay. <laughs> I had a little tear coming out, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw that. So, you know, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. I'm glad the curse is gone in a sense because, like, you know, I didn't really like the idea of the, them being, like, forced to be bonded or whatever, you know? Gotta have that freedom to choose over here. And, you know, that way it would be a more natural thing, which is what I liked. I mean... One of the whole thing with Starco that people have been like, you know, Starco's gonna happen, Starco's gonna happen because of the Blood Moon Ball, but now it's gone, so now we gotta, uh, oh boy, 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 <laughs> it was gonna be a thing because it, they're the two main characters, it has to happen, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be shook, I'm gonna be surprised, it's so funny, wow.